Not because I certainly feel wrong. I failed as a wife. I'm failing as a mother. I even blew it as a lesbian. For anybody else, Daddy doesn't need the grief. That was really cool, Dad. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Hey, it just occurred to me. If Greg's here, we can ask him about going out on the boat. <laughs> no, I'm not going to ask Greg about going. Hey, hi, Judith. Uh, here he is, safe and sound. Oh, hey, honey. Hey, Mom, guess what we just did? What? Nothing in particular. <laughs> That's a, a kid's joke. Nothing in particular. <laughs> he's, he's been doing it to us all weekend. <laughs> so we'll, uh, okay, bye. Uh, Alan, um... <laughs> Alan. Ask about the boat. Uh, listen, next weekend... Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I know. You and Greg are taking Jake scuba diving. Uh, no, uh, that's the thing. Greg and I have decided not to see each other anymore, so if you haven't made any plans, you can have Jake. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd love to have him. And, and I'm, I'm sorry to hear about you and Greg. Thank you. Uh, is there anything I can do? Yeah, you can wipe that smirk off your face. Okay, well, uh, well bye. Bye. She broke up. <laughs> Alan. Yeah? Peephole. Oh, boy. What? Oh, boy. Can I watch TV? I don't see why not. You got eyes and a butt. Where's Alan? He's here. Well, may I speak with him? Sure, why not? Not a good time, Charlie. Yeah, well, I thought you might like to know that your ex-wife and son are here. But she's not supposed to bring them till Friday. It is Friday. <laughs> but, but not until five. It is five. Okay, uh, cover for me. I'll be right out. Alan. Yeah? You might want to take off the rubber glove first. Good thing. He'll be right out. Thank you. So, <laughs> how are you? Uh, what's going on in there? Alan's uh, moving furniture around because he's constantly redecorating. Sorry, I was taking a nap. <laughs> so, uh, so what's up? I just wanted to remind you that Jake has his karate tournament tomorrow morning. Okay. What's that on your face? Just a little chocolate sauce. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, got it. The karate tournament tomorrow morning. Alan, what's going on? Uh, what's, what's going on is uh, I was uh, lying in bed, um, eating a, a sundae. After moving furniture. After moving furniture. And uh, uh, I fell asleep in some chocolate sauce. Goodbye, Alan. Somebody else is giving your wife the joy of. You sure they didn't forget the garlic balls? <laughs> what are you doing here? Why don't I just get back in the hot tub and give you guys a minute? Well? I came to give you this. What is it? I, I made it for you. Just now? No, no, a, a, a long time ago. It's symbolic. Alan, you are a disturbed man. You need help. Enjoy those garlic balls. Wow, that was more fun than I expected. Come on, giraffe boy, I'll buy you a drink. Okay. Wait, wait, wait.
Hey, look who's here. Hey, Dad. Hey, are you going to kiss me goodbye? Apparently not. <laughs> Do you see how rude he is to me? Yeah, it's terrible. I'll talk to him. I wish you would because... Wait, wait, Alan. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Alan, have you been bad-mouthing me? Uh, bad-mouthing you? Uh, to, to, to whom? To Jake. Oh, to Jake. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? His attitude towards me lately is so disrespectful, I have to wonder where he's getting it from. Well, I can assure you, I, I always make it a point to speak well of you in front of our son. Well, what about your brother? Oh, with Charlie, I'm completely honest. <laughs> that is not what I meant. I know. Hey, Judith. Charlie, have you said derogatory things about me to Jake? No. Why, did you want me to? I don't understand why he's behaving like this, ignoring me, avoiding me, acting like I'm the enemy. But you get why I'm doing it, right? <laughs> I got it! Well, Judith, I don't know what to tell you. He's certainly not getting his attitude from us. Absolutely not. It's your mother! You talk to her. Hell no, I talked to her last time. I choose you for it. Odds. Uh, Once, twice, three, shoot. Odds, you gotta talk to her. No! Hey, but you said you were I gonna... lied. <laughs> Leave a message at the beep. Big. I, I, I wish there were a better way to deal with Mom. There is, but we're both too pretty for jail. <laughs> what? what? Oh? Jake, honey, ready to go home? Mom, you're here. I love you. Wonderful. Teach him sarcasm. Thank you very much. Sorry. Well, I can assure you he did not learn that kind of crass behavior from me. You know, maybe I should wait in the hall. Well done. What is he doing here? Well, my car's in the shop, and Charlie was nice enough to give me a ride. No, Charlie was nice enough to call you a cab, but you wouldn't take it. So what's going on? Your son gave his teacher the bird. Okay, I want it on the record that he didn't necessarily... <laughs> Charlie, just leave it alone. What, what, what exactly happened? Well, I was writing on the board and he thought I couldn't see him. Is this true? Yeah, I really thought she couldn't see me. <laughs> I'm afraid this kind of behavior is grounds for suspension. Maybe we can catch a matinee. <laughs> Jake, why did you flip Miss Pasternak off? Excuse me. We don't end our sentences with prepositions. We say, why did you flip off Miss Pasternak? <laughs> I think that answers your question. Jake, why did you flip off Miss Pasternak? Because she picks on me? Jake, I don't treat you any differently than any of the other students. Yeah, right. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You know what, I think I'd like to talk to your parents alone now. Come on, Jake. What, I don't even mean to tell my side. Buddy, you're 11. You have no side. <laughs> He's really a very well-behaved boy, but he has had some problems dealing with our separation. That's true, uh, although it wasn't so much a, a separation as a, uh, a kicking out. <laughs> I sympathize, but if I gave special consideration to every child whose parents were going through a divorce, I'd be getting the finger all day. <laughs> We're not saying that he shouldn't be punished. Oh, he certainly should. But, but just let us try to handle it. By us, he means me. I always have to be the bad guy. Well, you're better at it than me. <laughs> um, than I? You are such an ass. Uh, can we have a moment, please? I think that'd be a good idea. And it's, may we have a moment, please? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I know how much he liked Greg, but that can't be the reason for me to keep seeing him. I understand that. You're not wrong here. I'm not, because I certainly feel wrong. I failed as a wife. I'm failing as a mother. I even blew it as a lesbian. That might have been the problem. You're not a failure. We're both at fault for the marriage not working. You're a great mother, and, and I'm sure you would have made a, a heck of a lesbian if you just hung in there a little longer. Hey, I'm gonna take Jake out for a while so you guys can talk. Thank oh, you, thanks, Charlie. Charlie. Where are we going? I gotta trade in my car. <laughs>
You never should have brought Jake into the relationship. It was too soon. Oh, don't be too hard on yourself. So, Greg didn't turn out to be the great guy you thought he was going to be. Oh, he was a great guy. My God, Alan, he took my breath away. <laughs> Our first night together, he picked me up and carried me to bed in his arms. <laughs> well, the point is, you brought Jake into the relationship too soon. <laughs> Greg said I was too demanding. I am, aren't I? I am a demanding, angry shrew. Hey, hey, don't say that. That, that. that is not who you are. That's just who you've become. <laughs> but, but, you know, underneath it all, I, I can still see the frightened, neurotic girl with the minor eating disorder that I fell in love with. Oh, Alan. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go boat shopping. Hi, Mom, can I have my allowance? I missed you too, sweetie. Thanks for dropping in by. Um, Judith, hold on. Do you consider us friends? I consider you my ex-husband. I know, but putting aside for the moment our loveless marriage and messy divorce, we always had a, a certain camaraderie, am I right? Um, can we talk about this some other time? I'm having people over for dinner. Oh, oh really? Anybody I know? Sandra and Howard. Oh, uh, no kidding. Uh, can I say hello? I'd rather you didn't. Why not? Sandra and Howard are my friends, too. In, in fact, uh, I introduced them to you. Well. Why don't you call them sometime and invite them to your house? This is my house. <laughs> Those were my friends. The fact is, you're having my friends over for dinner in my house. Yes, Ellen, that is exactly what's happening. Well, when I'm right, I'm right. 